you cannot come out as a free being to express or to sense whatever right they claim they have given to you via their sham constitution. That is why Biafra is going to come. And that is why nobody can ever, ever stop. I gathered here today, I must make it very, very clear that Biafra belongs to each and every one of us. Yes. IPOB is our own thing. It belongs to everybody. It belongs to everybody. And try to always resist the temptation because the devil will come. I assure you. Try always to resist the temptation of the devil speaking through you of always finding fault and not being able to do things the right way. IPOB is a family under one command structure. Only one, not two, not three, not four. Once you're under oath, you have sworn to abide by the structures of IPOB. Not your own. I am fond of when people come to see me privately, we discuss one or two things you know, we have in mind or what we are doing. And I've noticed that each time I do that, some people go out and try to implement that very thing that I've said we ought to do. And that is a very serious disease. We are not in any competition with anybody. All we want is the athlete. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Had Obas Lika behaved himself, they have done it for IPO. I have said it many times. Had they been consistent, truthful and transparent, they have done it for IPO. I don't want our people to think that somehow we are in some sort of um, a race between each other. Our race is against Awosa for Awosa. Not, no, for Awosa. I was a if we tell you what we have in mind to do, unless there is an order to go and implement that very thing, you are not allowed, you are not at liberty to do it. I said, whatever thing you can do, do to ensure that the apparatus is restored. It doesn't mean you should take an idea that belongs to DOS, you are privy to, and try to promote it yourself. When your mom says to you after school, oh, go into the kitchen, there's a pot of soup there, take some and eat. She's not asking you to go and empty all the meat and the fish inside the soup. <laughs> You're supposed to have common sense. Mm -hmm. Is that correct or not? Yes. yes. We have a problem which may be we are going to have a day of prayer and fasting. Amen. 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 I'm telling you the truth. Oh, come on. Because our enemies always come together to fight us. We must always band together to repel them. Unless you're asked to do something don't do it. Go and get people to preach this very gospel to those around you. Go to your workplace. Contact your, your senators and your, your house of church members. Take this very word of Biafra to them. The materials you will send to them, we will circulate to you. That's what we want you to do. Not to go and start opening a bank. That's not what I asked you to do. Because if you try that, the name of Biafra has now entered their records. We will now come up with our plan for the bank that will, the corporate bank wanted to float is very, very difficult for us to get that We wanted to float a corporate bank, not banking for everybody, for a reason. Why you need such a bank? We lost the war because we couldn't get weapons in. Are you aware of that? Yes. That was why we lost the war. Yes. 
Our fathers were playing about with sticks, pretending it's a gun. They go into battlefield with nothing. It's only those that can kill on the enemy side. They take their guns, isn't it? Do you think Florida can defeat us in a war? No. 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 Even if we are if we are blindfolded. <laughs> we had no guns. We had no guns during the war. Because there was the lines of credit open to us. I'm saying this now because um, they have ruined it. What we need to do. Those idiots they have ruined it. And those of you that were able to speak to, that because you lack discipline, some of you, you listen to nonsense. Ask the person, was this your idea in the first place? We are fighting for an in in Ebo State. Did I ask you to go and fight them? I'm telling you, we are fighting them. This is what we are doing. Did I ask you to go to the We have men who are doing this. It's not your job. Your job is to go out to evangelize, to provide help, to provide funding for, for, the, for the work they're doing on the ground. Are you asking them? Or because I feel big for the and you've been fighting. You got to open your own in, um, in an angle. That shows lack of discipline. It goes to show that you don't understand. If we take that mentality into a war, we lose. That was why Ojubu gave money from his own pocket, his father's money. Go and buy weapons. Some people ate the money. Yes. 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 Am I speaking the truth or not? Yes. Truth. Yes. Truth. 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 That is the same thing here. When you are given a responsibility, when we say to you, hold this position, hold it, and do the best you can. And then ask you to do something else. A lady went to Red Cross in London in 1968, 69 to London, to buy relief for starving, dying, their French She was arrested by the British. And the because I can't expose The reason why we want to get a was to make sure that every line of credit will be open. We can pay for equipment and it will be to come up. We didn't open it so you can be you can have Visa card and MasterCard. <laughs> but now also the bank and I'm like, you're not going in on Join bank. Can you imagine such ill discipline and stupidity? Something so secretive now our enemies they know. Now they know. Because they labeled us a terrorist group. We need source of funding that they cannot question. Yes. I need to do an Some you do is laughing and typing and writing and asking that they are mentally to this. <laughs> because men have died in this very effort. Oh, but it was starting for you and he was giving me. I'm sure you saw him. <laughs> fighting to save you so you can have land to go back to. Idiots in America opening a bank as you fish. That is why an organization as big as the World Book Congress could not make any iota of difference in our lives. As big as they are. With WIC here, why would you know they cannot come from the UK to come here to lobby your, your, your lawmakers? Why should I? You are the ones to do it and tell me what is happening here. What we ask you to do, you will not do. You can't see him and not do them. Ordinary one, one dollar, one dollar and get it. Do you know how much it costs to engage a lobbying firm in Washington, D.C.? Hello. Hmm? I ask all of you, go, go and try and recruit one to me. Then you recruit. 
ordinary one one dollar was a problem. One one dollar became a problem. Can't you afford one one dollar? I can't you come with you in a month? You can't afford one dollar? Why not? Because full of people are laughing at us, they are counting on that thing you have inside you. That destructive demonic spirit human to question and to argue everything. That's what they are counting on. To colonize and enslave us. When they speak, they say, we know you can never be united. We know. Only one dollar only. Is it going to kill you? No. no. No one dollar. You are not an IPOB. You don't contribute. Let me ask yourself, when is this a black community? Others came here and they got something. Including very recently Ambazonia. Why should I own the energy food? Because some of these they're the ones that will drive us away. They will say, oh, God brought you to bring Biafra. Biafra has now come so you can go home and, and, and can stay. Let us, let's take no class in America. After all, I'm a manager in um, IBM or Google. Yeah. That's what you will say to us. Mm -hmm. And mark it down. Don't you that this thing is going to happen? You will come from America to tell us uh, that uh, you are coming from the most advanced country in the world. Yeah. You know how to do it. That we that suffered and died should get away and say it again. Exactly. Are you doubting me? No, no. We have the awareness. Come and join us to make Biafra a possibility. Before it becomes the reality of our time. Because your participation is very, very key. Learn something from America. Everybody supported for Washington, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Did not support Washington? Yeah. Learn something. Learn something. The thing about us is that um, because we are very, you know, the whole world is listening. Mm -hmm. You know, people say, don't watch your TV in the public. Mm -hmm. But I watch my own in the Mutu Park. We to the <laughs> you need to understand something. We are very competitive by nature. Isn't it? We yes. love like to compete. Yeah. This person has built one story building, I want to build two. It's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. But that also predisposes us to destructive envy. Very destructive. We are not in IPOB in this Biafra recession project, we're not in a competition. But if you have a superior idea, you can bring it up. It's my job to listen to advice. I may not take your advice today, but I may see something tomorrow and decide to implement it. The fact that I'm not using your advice now doesn't mean I hate you or don't regard you or don't know what I'm doing. No, we are passing the zoo, preaching to them. Do they believe us? Mm -hmm. Hmm? No. No. Oh, no. Not me. It's mm -hmm. We need to understand this. That in King Luka, what is our head? It's bigger than what we are saying now. That Biafra belongs to you. It is your own. It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to Biafra. It doesn't belong to It doesn't belong to IPU. I know in a wider context, everybody is IPOB. In so far as this movement is concerned all over the world, pushing and moving ahead, it doesn't belong to us. It belongs to every single soul. And by the time we have run this race, only those who are worthy, it doesn't have to be us, will be eligible to serve the yeah. of course. And we don't know who those people are going to be. Mm -hmm. You, the people, will. 
That is why I urge you this very evening from here and night time in Biafra land to, to do all you can to support our efforts. A lot of things I cannot say on air will be coming your way. Just do it. It won't cost you anything. Just go and do it. That's what's going to happen. And some of you will think, uh, instead of you to contribute your own one, one dollar every month, you'll be thinking, how many are we in Baltimore? <laughs> 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 Somebody will tell you, oh, oh we hope to 2,000 in Baltimore. You say, hey, one, one dollar time. <laughs> but when an imaginary comes to your village to kill people, you start calling IP. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we are asking you to contribute a dollar every month is how it is done in the olden days. Mm -hmm. That is the only census we can have. Yes. That is how and how we know how many people who are with us. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Yes. So the same way that we go to your Congress and they ask us how many Biafrans are living in the Maryland uh, uh, state. I can't tell them unless I call the coordinator and they tell me so, so X, Y, Z amount of people paid their wonder. That is how you identify when you say you're very serious. That is why in our land we don't point at people. Are you aware of that? Mm -hmm. You know why we don't point at people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, no, no, we don't count one, two, three, four, we don't care. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, don't know the reason why? No, mm -hmm. tell us. We don't know why we want that first. <laughs> 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 when a woman gives birth, mm -hmm. back home, mm -hmm. back home you never ask a woman how many children have you have. Yes. Are you aware of that? Yes. It's a recent thing. Oh, how many kids yes. do you have? You don't do it here with both. Yes. You don't count it. Yes. Yeah. This, uh, I refer you to the book of Numbers. So when you go and read it, you'll be able to understand. The fact is that you, you identify yourself or you are counted based on what you can do. Hmm? I will tell, I've told this joke before. Yeah, it's from Mbisa, it's an Mbisa joke. And, um, and it ties into this one dollar. I'm out yeah, no, of time. No, no, yeah, no. I want to know something. Um, all those people that park at the other side, mm -hmm. please be honest. We have to park at Please park across the road. Yeah, if you park, no, if you park at the road, next building. If you park at the next building parking lot, please move it. No, this side is okay. Those that park in the other building. If you park here, you okay, but those that park in the other building. No, this one. Those that park along the road here, you okay. If you park behind this building, you okay. But if you park in the other building. Okay. Like, uh, 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 this parking lot, don't know this. Yeah, yeah, if your car is in that building there, please move it. But if you park along the road here, you're okay. If you park on this side, just move it across the street. Park on this side, you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, the, prop the property owner want the space. Okay, yeah. Are we okay now? Okay, yeah. Are we okay now? Okay. The reason why you need to pay one one dollar is this. Um, there was a very rich man that came back to the village during Christmas like this, and uh, the man brought bags of rice and these tomatoes and asked all the widows in the village to come. 
be that way. So you can give them some rice and um, food. So one man observed the wife getting ready to attend this rice sharing event. The man said to the wife that they only call the widows. You know what I mean? <laughs> The woman said to the husband, in case you want to go. Your typical sense is you cut the man as a man. But to the wife, the man is no longer a man. That is why you need to make contribution to, for us to know that you are there right and pass us. So when we are speaking, we speak with authority. And if you say that you know, somehow we become that you will be, you know, trust with money and um, eh? and that is not a good thing. Let me ask you this. Do you know how much is costing us in the world to keep the solar laser there? Do you know how much it's costing us? Yeah. When any of our men fall on the battlefield, do you think they abandon their families? No. no. Do you think they abandon them? No. Those are some of the things that we're doing that you don't know about. We fought them in Anambra and we drove them away from them. We did. In Imu, the same. In Adia, the same. They, care, they want to use the cover of the barracks in Africa to come in. We said no. We drove them away. We are fighting every blessed day. And we need your support to sustain it. We didn't have this number of people in the diaspora between 67 and 70. If we did, we would have won the war. That I know for sure. Let us complete the job that our father started. Let us complete this very well. That heaven wants us to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, if you have any questions, you're free to ask. I believe I'm in order. Is that correct? No questions you ask. Okay, hey. Speak English, please. Speak English, man. Everybody's not Everybody's not equal. Uh, because the people who are um, mobile on your behalf know the system. They know where the guns are buried. So it's usually the biggest way. So what my question is, uh, which I will also commit myself to doing, is how, what's the best way to raise the funds for the government? That is my question. It's been bothering um, thank you very much. Um, our brother is asking what is the best way to raise the money. If you have been paying this one one dollar a month, there will be no need to ask you to do anything. Only one dollar, what means? But you can give us more. Then from there, they pay them. But what you do concede to is that mobbing is a very, very expensive business. The, the, are, you, are, you, are you one of us? Okay. Okay. Now, um, there are those that may not wish to participate in the open. They provide help and assistance via the bank huh? They are also welcome to do so. Hmm? 
So not everybody would have the habit from doing something. Some will also want to support my TV partner. I must have come up with Very, very important. Um, that was why I said that Onyema is the last person who will help. We are all aware that every group in the north, including the imaginary kids, they are all sponsored by their people. This is it. If we can achieve what we have achieved, given our limited resources, imagine what we can do. There's so much more. Imagine what we can do. You know, is a very, you know, the zoo, the zoo is a, is a banner that's going to zoo. The zoo's firm is one banner that the ones who send me at this year. Anyway, we'll go to the the good news there. Trying to rubbish us, telling the whole world we are terrorists, telling them that we started the war and all the rest of it. All the junk that the zoo can dredge up, they give to them, they submit to their people. So it's a very serious business, robbing, and it costs a lot of money. The my happiness, <coughs> how did you even manage to afford to repeat them? I don't know. But we are doing the best we can. That is why every contribution we make never goes to waste. No one goes to waste. I don't have a car. Understand this. I don't have a car, I don't have a business, I have no landed property, I have nothing, I have no savings. My savings is the coming of Biafra. So when Biafra comes, if you want me to starve to death, then I will starve to death. Never. Because I, I need to keep my hands clean. <coughs> be able to go very far. Because I understand Biafra more than most of you. Any day you become tempted, you start putting your mind on earthly things, cars, buildings, hotels, uh, investment, you are finished. And we can't afford to do it. That's true. Everything I want. You are going to keep me inside Biafra, not outside it. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> in this life is inside Biafra, not outside. You can't have a mountain and then you're resting. Then the mountain is in front. Does that make any sense to anybody? Yeah. Yeah. Elohim has taken everything from me. My mother and my father. There is no other, I say to Chiko Kikadem when I pray, there is nothing else you can take from me. You are taking everything. Now, all I'm asking for is for the effort to come. Because every sacrifice has been made. What else is, is, is holy? And he said I should come and speak to me. That you people are very stubborn. Very difficult. And he said I should preach Exodus to you, which I will not preach today about your stubbornness and the way you tempt him and the way your behavior is what led to people who are beneath you to be ruling over you if you don't see that as punishment from god that means actually you're blind you cannot see people you're better than this people that move cattle from place to place are the ones ruling you that means that god in heaven is upset with you we must have done something wrong that those mistakes we were seeking now to correct. To put ourselves on the path of the straight and the narrow. That we may be worthy to be called in children of God. Thank you. Next person, please. Happy OD. Oh. Oh. family. Joshua and David. This is the first time you have been making a 
Who is this man? Who put it here? Israel has no constitution. This is our constitution. And they started in 1948. <coughs> we are very happy, the IPOB family, here in Maryland and all over the world, that you are using the same foundation Israel used through David Ben Garion and uh, Moshe Dayan and uh, Goda Meir, who was a student of uh, Arizona University in 1943. And uh, you are making our foundation to be like Israel. And you said it in your first broadcast that you will replicate IPF. And uh, that is only hope we will have. And I've been watching all your brokers and all other brokers to keep on saying the same consistency. And this is this This is the first time. It's using that. And that will mean a lot to have the coverage. And the foundation will be Ask your question, sir. I don't have a question. All I have is the praise. Question, please. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Please ask your question. 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 Please uh, stars, Bapando, stars, which which means the seven ethnic group of Biafra, which are followed in the middle, are followed which is command and the status of God, so that other people follow God. A Bible name, no. A Bible name, no. All the same in Israel, we must always find a area. We, you know, we are not going to find that is my contribution and I want to thank you. Thank you very much. This is the one that is on your number. I like it and um, your advice is taken on board and we will do something about it. I said something to people. When I went to Jerusalem to come pray, you know, when the white man came, the British came, they said we have no history. Are you aware of that? Yeah. Huh? Yes. They said you have no history. They discovered in the Niger. I don't know they were hiding this from. <laughs> Who is Mara Tupu here? I am. Who is you? Left. Mara Tupu. Yes, she is. Can anybody tell me the transliteral meaning of Yeshua in Igbo language? What's the meaning of Yeshua? Yeshua. Joshua. You see, this is the problem that we have. Yes, we are with the Europeans called Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The name given to him by his father and his mother is Yeshua, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Only the Israelites. In Israel and us, praise God with the name we give to our children. No other is possible. And uh, 
They say they are Omenala and Ordinala, who don't understand the spiritual dimension of this. Our land is holy, not our power. Oh, yes. I'm not saying it's not. So is also the land of Israel. That is why men go mad, trying to conquer that first movement. Yes. Yeah, there is one original religion, only one, from which the other ones branches. Is that correct? Yes. That original religion is the knowledge of one supreme creator and, the, and the owner of the universe. One that our ancestors worshipped. Our ancestors worshipped directly. Uh, but because um, Elohim is uh, very famous. They try to go through others to gamble. When they commit crime, our ancestors, how many hold John? They can no longer go and pray direct. They start looking for uh, one Amadion. Oh, 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 oh. Do you know that's why you have our sin? Do you know that they are small angels? Are you aware of that? Uh, are you sure they know this? Yeah. 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 People have these lesser, lesser, lesser gods, small, small ones. Because the big one, when he gets upset, he kills everything inside. Think Google, that big one, when he's upset, he kills everything. So when they commit that, they are crying. They do in those olden days. I told me if you ever look at the world, is listening. They hide behind a lesser God and either that lesser God, please beg Do you now understand? Not that you worship those small, small things. They are messengers. We ask them to go and please go and beg for us. Because when Elohim is upset, you know what happens? Many, many die in the process. That's what happens. I don't want us to misunderstand it because some people think they confuse the Odinala with Omenala and what we are doing. No. The worship of Elohim is not a religion. That you can call a particular name. Because that is the original, the number one. Number one. I've said this many times on Radio Biafra. In the olden days, before you become an insect, not this one, the Amandis are Let me tell you why what used to happen before you become a titled man in the olden days. And he said, oh, also. You bring out your tongue and then you make seven incisions on your tongue. Yes. 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 Make seven marks on your tongue and you bleed. Yes. And from that day, any day you lie, you lie. And that is why it's your problem. That is why you have to speak in truth to remain alive. If you lie, you die. And that is why they started hiding under a magician hand. Okay, okay, okay. All that rubbish. Because you know if you lie, and, in the, and also go and check in our land, you know the boundary, we call it okay, in our land. If you move it from where it is, you will never be wrong. All these things that people tend to confuse, they don't understand. They don't understand. What is behind what we are doing is a mystery to most people. Yes. They thought we, we woke up one day and said to do, oh, Biafra is no, no. <coughs> we, we understand the sacredness of our land and what Chukukika Biyama said. Our clocks are taken 
<coughs> in the year 2012, 75 years from then, if we don't achieve Biafra, I don't know how many years, I don't know within how many years, but if you don't achieve Biafra as soon as possible, our race will be destroyed. Mm. And it was then that the, the BBC issued, no, it was actually United Nations, that issued a very grim report that the Igbo language will cease to exist within 75 years. Mm. Mm. These are some of the things that you don't know. So we are running a race against the clock right. to restore the kingdom of God upon the face of this barrier, which Biafra is. Mm -hmm. Which Biafra is. Some don't know this, but we do. So uh, it's not just about freedom fighting for the sake of it. We are trying to do the will of God. So people who don't understand won't understand. Right here. Yeah. 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 My number is B A D O H four five six. I will only need you to read it. Because I see pieces of this program. I'm a recent IPOD member. Louder, please. I'm a recent IPOD member. I ate in the same time. Oh my, I come to my. My problem is America. Your leadership in America. America is the leader of the world. I'm here 44 years old. And the people we have put or allowed in the leadership are the people holding on to the NBA. You have said it here. And I'm going to look at their faces. Some of them have spoken to me. I said, I was before I tried to say. Your leadership is why we don't have Jasper today. It's true. Yes. Well, don't answer me here. We were here in New County. Yeah. I have a house called Trump. I called my dinner brother when I had it. And I just broke from Philadelphia. I've been gone for three, four months. People be looking for me. I can't say where I went. I just came back. Immediately I had, I closed my office. I called my younger brother. I said, Go there. I said, He saw it. But you went to Chicago and another one saw it. He saw the baby. Not here, please. Gather your coordinators. <coughs> In the US, your leadership. That's yes, our problem here in the US. Because it's said here, excuse me, if you are afraid, the fear fears the challenge. I'm a reverend, the chief, there's no time to be having the leader. I'm in Nigeria, foremost, three to foremost every year. Oh my. I am the pioneer of medical mission. I'm the pioneer of, uh, of uh, um, uh, telemedicine. Now, it's God. This, I don't call this Bible. Right. Basic instruction before you leave on earth. I call it the manual of life. Yes. If you have TV, you have your iPhone, and you buy it from Best Buy, you give you a manual. It tells you the past in it. It tells you how to work it. If you can't work it right, you can't get the best. You say with that TV, that's the problem we all have. I read this, I read this at the age of 10. Don't you I read the whole thing. I read it every single year. This is concluded. I read the whole Quran. The Jita of the Buddha. I saw this religion. <coughs> what you say is, I've been listening to you for years. I'm more cooking my word with you before my family. Now, go and talk to them. They are a problem. The vision I have for Biafra is not really democracy. The only democracy there is uh, come and vote, determine who is you. But we need a meritocracy. Meritocracy. That's what China does. Into China. Your yeah, coordinators need to read. REA, the leaders are leaders. I do leadership training. I'll give you my private number 24 7. I'm an, I've been an advisor to an African president. I won't mention them. They don't read. We don't read Africans. After the certificate, after school, that's it. Even here, 
Anybody have read the three novels this year? Please raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I read, I read, I have read of 40 to 50 books. I have read of 20 to 50 books. I have You can't run this world with common sense. All these things you are talking about here, I know, is they are not this stuff. Because you read. That's why you can read. That's the problem with school and you right. How can someone who didn't go to school learn? I have an office now. <coughs> That's my number one. This is another important one that will get us to one of these things. Who knows about Bruce Merrill? Bruce Merrill. Raise your hand. Bruce Merrill. Anybody know about Bruce Merrill? Bruce Merrill died what? May 38, 1969. At the age of 20, 1949 to 1969. This is the young man that sat in the corner in front of United Nations and set himself on fire because of Biafra. He did something only Jesus did. And none of you know about him. I have it go to obituary.com. You will see his, his, his grave there. I put this. Uh, um, you can go there and put a flower and memorize it. You don't know. We need education. This man here has been with me to fish out our younger children born here to educate them about Africa. We do that. That's what we need. Our leaders in America is their problem. They are holding their first. Right. Look at me. If they doubt me, they come to me. I can come and say it loud and clear. That's true. Yes. That's, so that's why we say that if they don't move, we are going to find another direction to work with you. Exactly. And get what we want. Yes. It's an emergency. We are going to Luzmero Red. Light. I'm looking for the family. I have seen one lady here because it's funny, but not to us. We are going with the candle lights that day. If we go there with the candle, all these major media will come out. The whole children will come out. That's how we can announce to the world that we are serious. Everybody come out after the marching on June 20th. I mean, before that, we take candle light. We are front light. Stand there for as so long the media will come. His grave is there. Go to obituary.com. Go there, all of you now, and put there. Let's see, you see my own there with a flower. You do it to chair.com. Thank you. Those two things are for our Our leaders here need to set up. If they don't sit down, change them. Because before President Clinton left to Nigeria, what did he say? He said, well, it was about Einstein that said it. The new con this insanity is when you continue to do the same thing again and again, and you're getting the same results. That's how you define insanity. And that's what we're doing. You are asking us, have we gone to our congressmen and senators? Who is supposed to lead that? Have they done it? No! No! Are they encouraging people to do it? No! So that's our start. So today, the dynamics must change. Thank you, God. <laughs> I I strongly believe that every treatment man believes that you are God sent. As everybody is here. And I know what it would take for you to come to America one or two times in a year and go to other nations. My first question is this. If you want dollar enough, or is that the minimum? Can someone put more? And a dollar. Yes. Yes. Why am I saying this? It will not take only hundreds of millions. 
Zip of lies that will be saved. That's why right. that will come tomorrow. Those lives are worth more than each other is worth more than two million dollars. As hard working as you are. One other thing I want to stress is that the the the, the state uh, uh, American State Department. They are going around. And once they know you are a Biafra, they tease you with certain questions. Where did you come from? They start the discussion. What they want to hear, I believe, that you are a Biafra and not a Nigerian. Because you tell you are in Nigeria, you believe you are still not sure of what you want. You can say I'm a Biafra, but in Nigeria, I assume the person pretends not to understand the location of Biafra. So we are in the I've encountered so many of them. My name is Joseph Mwabolete Chimaro. Abonubo. I was born in Abaka. I raised in Abaka. If you knew there was a bus company in 1967, I started it by the grace of God. The bus company that later became the civil defense of Abaka. I was born in Baida. It was in 1967. I was supposed to go to high school. Later, by the age of 14, I was a dream commando at Madonna 3. B.A. So, what am I saying? I am in America by the unction of God. I never desired to come. I went to Europe, went to an architect six years after. I am a pastor. The Lord. And the issue of the Africa has been a burden in my heart. And of course, God has been giving some revelations. The last was that we got Biafra, but it killed a lot of our people. And I was one of those who were going around checking the dead bodies of them in the water. But there was a, a certain level of joy in us as we are looking at this. Thing. So, so it means that we got Biafra. That was the third time I'm having such a revelation from God. So I want to say also to you, more please, to your elbow. Don't relent. It will cost us an arm and a leg. It doesn't matter. Praise God. So, one dollar is nothing to you. I'm sure if we decide that we can make it hundred dollars, we can do that. May God bless you. No, I'll get rid of you. When you sit down, I'm going to say more English language, but let me speak in English. And I want to be very brief because I know there are so many people that would have been in much more better position to ask And just like my brother said, it's a really sad thing. God bless you in the same way. There's something that brought me here this evening. I had so several commitments here in Baltimore. But when I had this less than 24 hours myself here, is that my wife went to US fingerprint place. And based on the revelation that the Lord gave to me, I'm told when you go there, feel that application as a beautiful. I will tell you. She went there. And uh, feel in the call where it says nationality. It says something that they say, Biafra. Then they ask her a question. The lady came back, went by the paper. I don't know the kind of paper she feels. And asked her, Is it a new nation where they say Google it? That's what she told the lady. And she Googled it right there before her. I said, You okay? She did it as a Biafra. And my wife got her fingerprint document that sent back to her as a BF. So that inspired me a lot because like to cut it so short, that's another cut short because preachers talk so much. But it's not bad. But 
this thing I was telling you people, the resolution about Biafra resolution was given to me in 1998. That was when Nigeria divided. So we are here to fill a mission. My question is this concerning this donation, contribution. One thing, what brought me here is that I want to know who is the coordinator here because I don't believe in there are so many chapters in the media, in the social media. There's this one, is that one. That's why I said I'm going to come personally see who is the coordinator here face to face, eyeball to eyeball, because I have over 50 people that wants to do some donations and uh, I can't even tell them anything, but to put it straight the way it is in there. What is the, what are we expected to do at the name, the information concerning the information where this money will be paid to, number one, because there are several information side, even account numbers given, which were wrong. So I didn't know how to go, but I can't give anybody any information. Go this way, go that way. There. So it says it's better to come directly uh, by myself. That's it. Then secondly, is this the issue about uh, Congress? Um, talking to our Congress people before I even come here today. I've been talking to our Congress people. I personally wrote them letters of over 300 words. <laughs> so what? There's something you mentioned. They say you will send us something that we will show to them as proofs. So I was trying to know how those things are going to be sent because not only that, by the virtue of God's grace, uh, I don't know how I got, I got attached to President Donald Trump campaign team here in Boston. And I sent the message directly to the President through one of the aides, and I got a reply. So I want to know, let me just continue, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Thank you, God bless you. Right right right. 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 Okay, okay, Ruto, you're black. Cool down. You get your time. I thank everybody here. My name is Nena Ugilewe. I'm an engineer. Civil engineer about uh, in the Afroland for coming here. Um, I'm an engineer. Yes, civil. Civil engineer. Yes. But I'm not practicing in America, unfortunately. Um, I listen to what uh, our leader said. Um, I'm gonna be brief. It doesn't make sense. Um. Every one of us here knows um, how um, hardworking he is. And um, we contributing a dollar is like a slap on the face. We know how much um, expenses are both here in America and in Nigeria. He's taking out his time to travel to all parts of the world. and. Um, Bringing out just a dollar is just like uh, we are not serious in what we are doing. If we can raise this to like five dollars, I don't think it's gonna be too much for any one of us. When you go to um, McDonald's, I don't think they sell anything uh, one dollar there. You, you have to understand that uh, the, the economic uh, situation in Nigeria uh, is more than what we, we are seeing here. And uh, my second uh, opinion again is he has been, uh, he has told us that he has no income, he has no bank accounts. We have to make a um, provision. So at least even if we contribute money, let us set something aside that this is what we will use in supporting his mission. You know, he, he cannot uh, steal. He cannot uh, be bribed. So it is all of us here, and maybe in other uh, countries, if I can get out to other people, let us have a certain point where we say this is for the support of his mission, both his transport, uh, hotel accommodation, feeding, 
you know, uh, that might be another uh, idea. Thank you. And, and just uh, trying to put up. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. God bless you. If our own Efulef couldn't stop us, I also believe that you will not be able to make any difference. Because Ishekiri is Biafra. They are also blessed with common sense and ability to reason. The same way you are gathered here today is how Ishekiri is all over the world are gathering and making sure that Biafra becomes a reality. Anything Omar Gege is doing, he is bound. And what happened to the others will happen to him. He will serve the zoo, he will come back in shame. My name is uh, Anwar Amusu from Oga in Anambra State. Um, nobody will tell me about the history of uh, Biafra. If you know what Oga stands for, you should know better. So we have the history about uh, Biafra and uh, we suffered for it. But uh, my question is this. Um, what is the best strategy to market Biafra movement within America? And I mean, within the circle of our people living in America. Why I ask this question is this. Our people are afraid. In fact, it looks like they are ashamed of, you know, discussing the topic of Biafra. Even in different organizations, town union organizations, and uh, community of friends, if you mention anything about Biafra, nobody want to listen to you. Why are we ashamed? Because this, I'll give you one example. I belong to Anambra Association. When there was a massacre in Ozobo, this recent massacre, I was so devastated. I mentioned that topic to the organization. I said, then what are we going to do to help these people? The government is destroying their lives. Do you know what somebody told me? This is the wrong 
Uh, please, please, call this stop. How old is the person? Old. They know the same. You know, some of them, are, they say they are old enough, they, they are veterans, they are from veterans. They are not veterans, no, they are from veterans. No, for real. Honestly, Honestly it's it's my director, it's my director, it's I'm so disappointed, extremely disappointed, I told them. As a matter of fact, you know what they say? They say um, um, that we should discuss the topic whenever we have a meeting. And the meeting is likely to be next year. <laughs> And because that is um, end of the year party, which they have to do, I said, look, life is more important to me than enjoyment. How can I be enjoying and then people are suffering? I said, it makes no sense. America stands for charity and a humanitarian work. So what are we doing? That's the question I asked them. And you know, the nice thing they threatened, oh, they're going to get me out of the ministry. And you know what, before they get me out of the meeting, I got out of the meeting myself. Because I am extremely passionate about the struggle. So I'm suggesting that we should do thorough marketing of this brand. If everybody is ashamed of being a Biafra, I'm not ashamed. And again, most of the people who are looking up to, most of the people who are looking up to, you know what they're doing, my director? These people are busy conducting traditional marriages in America, chief dances, permission of the culture. They don't want to do something that we encourage we youth to come out and see what we can do for our future. Honestly, I'm not happy staying in America here. Because I know the best vacation I can have is back home. What we're doing here is going to be the best. My director, um, I have to commend you um, for your ability to be here. First of all, I, I said, I told my friends, I told my friends that you changed my life. I follow you every time, every minute. I listen to Radio Biafra every time. My friends, when you went to Japan, I was talking with my friends in Japan. They were giving me feedback of what is going on. I, I watch you and I follow you every time. So keep it up. Keep the movement up. Without you, there will be no us here. You raise our consciousness. And I will conclude. And I will conclude by saying this. And I quote, Frank Fanon said, Every onlooker is either a coward or a traitor. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Union in America will not support the Afro agitation because they take money from Obiano. <laughs> and I say this with every authority. That Biafra will be restored. Amen. Amen. And all those people from the world who are here, they will not enter Biafra. Amen. I tell them this to do everything they can in America in conjunction with the zoo to stop IPOPA, to stop Biafra from coming. Because they will fail. Biafra will come Amen. and they will not enter Biafra. One family. Yes, yes. They'll be bad, they'll be good, they'll be ugly. So, okay, my question, question is, um, you need to introduce because yourself. Because I know most of the time, my name is Chiamaka Jikuma, and I'm from Enugu. So, my question for today is, um, I always mostly talk about how we engage the youth in the Afro movement. And most of the time when we come together, the people we see around us are the elderly ones, the senior ones, the veterans. And I ask this question, where are your children? Not because I know you don't want to bring them here. And the other thing is that all this Igbo group or other groups that come together, a lot of the time their children are not even there. I talk to students, I'm a student, and most of the time when I talk to students around me, 
They don't even know anything about Biafra. Why? Because their father, their mother, they didn't tell us anything us. about right. it. Yes, that's right. And when you, I remember speaking with one, and he said, "Oh, the war. That was the only thing he remembered about Biafra." And now that we are fighting for the freedom of Biafra, none of them even recognize or even have idea of what is going on. So how do we, just as my brother said, how do we market Biafra out there? Because we need to go beyond this us mm -hmm. and get into the life of the youth, the teenagers, and preach this gospel of Biafra. Because yes. we are not enough for the elders to say this to the youth. So how can we get out there to capture them young? In order for us to really get our message out there. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get a one. It is not how many that actually come on this very journey. It's actually how dedicated the few to identify themselves are able to pursue this very project <laughs> When we started IPOB, we went like this, I'm sure. The people you are seeing here today only came because they were able to receive information. Less than 12 hours, is that correct? Yes. And on social media. These are those who are active on social media, I believe. Or that stumbled upon the, the flyers. Anybody that claims they don't know about Biafra, you are deceiving yourself and your mind to yourself. Yes. What we are going to do, our brother, Ndu Koti Balala There's one here. Aren't you Kachuko? So I see here, Mandi Alana they said here about the leadership in America. I used to watch um, Box Life. I watched it with Daniel America. I'm not watching it in America as well. You know the movie Box Life? Okay. Have you seen Box Life? Yes. 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 I remember Hopper, who was the principal grasshopper leading the troops against the ants, yeah. saying to the newly appointed queen that the first rule of leadership, everything is your fault. If we are not doing that well, I will blame the leadership in America. Very good. Huh? And you as a student, the best way to get something done is when you do it yourself. Is that correct? Yes. yes. So you also have the responsibility of making sure that our students actually come out to be part of this. And that's our brother as, uh, there as well. Who you got? Oh. Please stand. That's the doctor. I'm not a 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 medical doctor can be a miscreant. Yeah. I don't know what an alamajiri katogara will do. Here is a medical doctor who is a miscreant. He will join that's, us. That's why he wants to go back to solutions. <laughs> because I don't know everything. Yeah. I can't pretend I know everything. There are some ideas and suggestions we bring that we run with it. You and our sister as well. We need to mobilize our students and anything you need from IPOB leadership to make that happen, we'll do it. Um, another thing we are going to do is you must start IPOB family in your neighborhood. Some may not come out in the open. We must also create an avenue for those of them. They can come, you know the Nicodemus. They can come to the back door. We also come to them. And we must take this very gospel to every association, every group. 
our children must have their own garden. Forum. Don't you see what they're doing back home? They should have a forum. Don't you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Children, six years old, eight years old, they do their own thing. The fathers do their own thing. So the kids will also do theirs as well. And our students too. The thing about this is that there's always this there's always this concerted effort to make you feel ashamed of Biafra and who you are. Don't allow them to succeed. Never allow them to succeed. We shall go. And of course, as we develop all these new ideas as to what we are going to do, I'm even sure that um, our woman leader here, um, they also have their plans and their wing is also growing very rapidly. Please to try as much as we can. Wherever you are, you are a coordinator. Are you listening to me? Yes. Wherever you I have said this many times on your streets, you are a coordinator. Start an IPOP family wherever you are. Start one. In your school, you start one. Wherever you are, you start one. That is how we we'll get this message across the Thank you very much. Our sister, please. <laughs> How have you, Afra? Oh, my big, big, I can't I have to speak about the great to Eke Nengi because, to be honest with you, I love iPod with all my heart. They have been trying to make me stop, but I told them, look. I even want to know when they will start training us here because we're gonna call home when it starts because war is inevitable, and I keep asking them, when are we gonna start training here to carry the gun? Because, no, 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 for, no, no, no. This is this is point. Reality is the only thing that we have to be aware that we, it's, it's going to happen, okay, and so they're going to come like home, what I want to and I will not go home not knowing how to shoot. Because before you kill me, at least I'm going to kill somebody. Absolutely. Because I will not be there watching them to kill me. Mm -hmm. So I keep asking them when I go, they're going to start training or here. Yeah. We can go to shooting range. Exactly. So we have to start by planning it with. But our leaders here, the guy that said about our, our leaders here, is goes is he said the truth. I could have dropped out since, but due to the love I have for iPop, I couldn't drop out. The leaders you have here, that are leading iPop here, they are 20, no, 16th century men who have no understanding. We are 20th, 21st century people, and this guy is leading us with archaic ideas. When you bring an idea, even a child can tell an adult to run away from danger. You don't have to say because a child will not run away from danger. If I tell you there's a danger, listen to me. The leadership you have here is the problem I pop have. And the reason why Biafra have not come is because America is the one that will lead I pop. No other people. We are the, we, this is where the money is. This is where the one power is. This is where everything is. And we, all of us here, whether you like it or not, we need to carry gun. We need to have, know how to shoot. I don't know yet, but I want to know how to do it. But we need to start coordinating it. But the leadership here, when you are talking to them, they, they push you back. They are like, who are you to tell me what to do? I'm like, I'm a nobody, but I'm here because I love Biafra. I want to go home. I cannot walk like this forever. I am dying. I want to go home. I want to, no, no, I know, but I want to go home. I cannot walk like this in the next 20 years like this. And if Funani go and occupy my father's land, where am I going to go home? I go home. They, they, to kill me would be easy for them because if they get people down there, when they guys are going who, who, who will do that? Nobody. So, Ahmadike, God sent you to do this work. Yes. I know it's not easy. I'm sorry for the death of your mother and your father. And I don't know how God gave you the strength to keep carrying on. Because I will not be able to carry on if it is me. I cannot carry on because I will, I will break down. Because I know, I know what it is. But the way you carry on like nothing happens. It, it, that, that shows that God is with you. And God has created you for this. I know you sacrifice everything you have for this. But God will repay you. I keep telling them, we, they say that I pop, they, they tell me I'm a radical. I say, no, I'm not the radical. I know what is happening back down there. And it's paining me because it's my people that they are killing. And who is killing us? Dirty people that live in the bush. Then they now want to come and watch my own TV in my own house. That is a mansion. And imagine you want to come and occupy my own house from the bush that they are. And they, don't, they will not even know how to keep it. Because when they come in, they will just mess up everywhere yes. because they don't know what it is. We are brought up decent. They are not brought up decent. They don't know what it means to keep anything. And they want to come and occupy us. Take our own father's house. So for God to bring you out to do this, 
He will keep you and will give you the strength. Why not finish? Why not finish now before going over? Maybe you take picture with him, right? Is it the end? No, not yet. Are we even close? Yeah. Are we even close? Yes. When the time comes, yes. Since yesterday, when are we going to the conference? How much more time? Don't worry, we will. And the way we work. I want to know how to find the plane. You know, like that Kamakazi mission. That's what I want to do. Sometimes we play on the same idea that we have. But we still welcome these ideas and we tend to do them. I think we work with the women's group to make sure that some of those ideas are Thank you very much. I'm still chilling. Mama. Volume. Inflate your voice. Please, I have to thank you, you know, for all what you are doing. It's not easy. It's not easy because a lot of things are going on and you are putting it aside and keep moving on. I pray that God will give you the grace to carry on this. Um, mission and nothing will happen to you. I will pray that we behind you. And anything we can do to support you, I hope you will do. And I'm saying it this evening, please, that one dollar is not enough. If you can do twenty dollars, I think twenty dollars will be enough. Please, let's do twenty dollars. Let's say ten dollars. Can you pay sixty dollars? Come pay another one dollar? Yes. No. One dollar is for me. Let him talk up now. Let us know where though there are some people who will direct us to pay it in the account. There are some people that are not under oath. But those that are under oath. this is where the power is. Why are we talking about $1? Yes. Yes. And another thing, please, let me say it here. Everybody that is here, you know it right from this moment. We are not free. Nobody thinks that we are free. Even if we are free here, we are going to go back home and not free. Please, let us do something before it is too late. Before it is too late. Unless somebody is going to watch his uh, cell phone, at every minute. Sometimes I quarrel with my wife because I don't sleep. I'm telling you, and every minute I'm on my phone, I'm shedding tears. Sometimes you bring food that I'm not eating because I don't want to sleep. I'm ruthless. We are from When I was little, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? I can't remember. 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 I
If you have no cost labor, you start an IPO department. Simple. Do you I you I have I I I one family. Hey guys, can we hear what they are saying over here, please? All the troubles he went through, sabotage, yes. despair. He kept me alive. Yes. And I want to clap for him. Clap for him. Come home here. I've given the country a big life. Please, you want Loyalty is number one. If they just come, most of you who are corporate America here yes. know that if you are not loyal, if you like manufacturing a plane, then you are off. That is number one. Always. Now, I will just want to go and take it about two minutes. Somebody came here and mentioned the reason why our people are not joining ICOP or coming up. And I'll refer you to a famous black abolitionist. His name is Nat Turn. He's from Southampton, Virginia. Born in 1800, and he died in 1831. And I quote him. You see, he came out and gathered 1,000 men and said, how many of you need freedom? Move forward. And 900, this is a use for the category, 900 moved forward and the whole left was left behind. 
and he said, ladies and gentlemen, we we'll have to take, get rid of this one behind me because this is our real problem. Can Google it? It's a, 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 a, it's 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 a, Look at his face, he passed through the genie. And he said it was the black ancestors that gave him this sign to strike. And he led them, and they killed 60 white people, children, and men that night. This guy was one of the brightest preachers. He taught himself, read his Bible, he was he said he was his time. And that is why they descended on black slaves in 18. 31, 32, 33, 34. Massacred, that is killed all of them. Tried Turner. Turner was flayed by a horse. He telling us his head is not the national religion. Black is not his head. Because they don't try to. Even the judge who tried to wrote a book, they talk, call it matters in confession. So, that is why in any, that in any work, they treat several twice very harshly. People gave him up. Because he went and hid, and somebody went and told the enemies who was hiding in a convent that was covered by a fence. Enemies within him is our problem. So I'm yeah, complaining that people yeah. are not joining, everybody goes to a meeting and then nobody wants to talk about them. Always. Them. always. Be it any one from any state. Be it an umbra, I'll be an And you know why? All 9.9% of all the presidents, all the population officers are for Igbo or Biafra land in this country. We are sponsored and paid for by our politicians back home. They were paid and put there. They are also members of this forum. So when they talk and they see you, they call them so much. Let them know this one. We don't have to say And they get rid of you. They are paid agents. They are paid money. Some of them have been offered houses back home. So that's why I say, oh, if you want to do it, this is not the forum. How do you go to another forum? That's not true. There is no true Biafra who do, does not want to be who do not want to be free. We are in this country because some people died, fought for it, we were free in this place, okay. open our mouth and start a joint air condition. Since we came here, they can never they never take the light or the water. Unless there's severe weather. Even then they were for just the children. And when dry it here and they tell me that these guys are normal, let me tell you, it's not gonna stop because they know that they the, the power is here. Every session, that's why they are fighting us in hand. It is is a very lengthy work. You are looking at a guy who has been excluded from any USA because the first video that was posted when the Polymark was chased in um, Germany, a friend of mine, a cardiac surgeon, and a schoolmate, and a classmate, a roommate, sent me that video. And one person who sent it and made it back. And they trace it to me and make sure they remove me from form of any U.S. Better, today. Better for you now. Better for you. Save no. your money. Meanwhile, I am the highest donor. I know. The chairman of all the occasions yep. in that forum. By the way, I'm a medical doctor of 35 good years. Who wow. works for that? Always. So, I'm telling you, people cannot give up. Because you are looking at a divine man in a, in a, in a divine project. Yes. Of course. Let me tell you too. I have people are complaining leadership and everything. It is not easy to lead our people. You have to realize that one point of leadership is made by example. If you catch up with once, please. Praise me. Uh, if you can just make me, praise me. Don't go inside. Secrecy is source of power. The reason, there's a reason why we give this shot. Give about, say, uh, two days or two hours. There's a reason for that. And those people that make sure that this guy is safe, this man, I want to do. These people have a price for this. 
Information on that call that is the one No, no, no. Regarding our Amazonia, 
Regarding Ambazonia. Can you pass that mic on here? When the Ambazonia right. president is right. You know I stood before you. He was quiet, please. He was also welcomed by dear friends. When the mic is down, to, to, to Sweden. Um, so we are a lot closer than the outside the world. And for understandable as we do this is everything about it. So we are all one and uh, who knows in the future we may even become one nation. And IPOB as I said earlier is fighting for the liberation of everybody. There are people from Edo that want to be part of the You can't stop them. Yes. Anybody can join IPOB. Yes. Anybody can including Hausa people that can join oh. if they want. Oh, sorry. If you subscribe to our way of life, value system, live and let live, democracy, equality before the law, then there is um. <coughs> So we are fighting for everybody. Mm -hmm. The Queer our coordinator now. Baltimore here. Let me make sure you get. But state. Chairman yeah. of our state. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. For state. Yeah. Um. So come in here. Let me make sure you get. Um, I, I, have a, I have another question. Each time you pronounce something right in your face, some people dislodge what you say. I followed your broadcast, I listened to your broadcast in Israel. You said, let there be county by county. Let Establish county by county and families, yes. and they are all families. Yeah, we, See, that's exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah, we have Baltimore County. Um, right now, you just said that you can become a coordinator wherever you are, but we have a problem, sir. Yes. The problem is those of us that will start families are not recognized yes. by the cabal. Some people that arrogate to themselves and get the power of the government to dislodge the main focus of IPOB. They thereby exclude the majority and then walk in seclusion. Now, my point is this again. There is a problem. Right here in Maryland. I'm getting And uh, I remember in Atlanta, you appointed a national mobilizer who should be in charge of uh, affairs of uh, IPOB nationwide. To our surprise, to you, to you, be, you be amazed that this man has been sidelined and he cannot operate. And second of all, can this, this idea from the national coordinator, I say things they are, I say things they are, I'm fearless. There is somebody in the name of a national coordinator who professed to somebody that if the zoo government gives him money that he will take it but they will not deliver what they want this is a a clue of the kind of people that are the helm of affairs in the united states of america <coughs> The movement of IPOB is stalled. You might not see it from England. We live here, we see it. They are in the face. Who accused somebody of stealing public form? I said, where is, do you have any evidence that he stole money from the meeting, uh, from the family? Yes, But to our surprise, to your surprise, <coughs> The rumor still goes on that somebody stole somebody's money, uh, group's money and everything. So this is the problem we have, sir. Please, I don't know how you're going to do it, but it would be nice if you fix this problem.
problem before you leave. We want to move forward, just like what my sister said. We, we, this is 21st century. We have capable men and women that can execute IPOB uh, uh, projects. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I want to answer very Uh, appointed a national mobilization officer, and I want the whole world because the world, we are, you know, we are alive to the whole world. Don't mind that you are just saying only to your computers here. The whole world, people are listening in Jaffa and by FM. So everything you are doing here, the whole world is um, is observing, watching, and listening attentively. There is a way that IPP works. I have said here, go and become a coordinator wherever in your family. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you are IPOB on your own, doing whatever you like. We all, we all have a chain of command. You have to respond to it. That's how we operate. The National Mobilization Officer is not in charge of anything. All he does is open families and hand over to the state coordinators. And his job is done. And he should also be part of the national executive. In other words, he should be part and parcel of the running of IPUB in Legislative America. I have a flyer with me here that says East Coast. East Coast. I don't know where East Coast is. This whole area. This whole area. Yes, this coast. I know Maryland. East Coast. I know Massachusetts, I've never been East Coast. I know Virginia, East Coast. I know Washington, East Coast. I know New York, East Coast. I know New Jersey, East Coast. I know New Jersey, East Coast. Now, what we have done is to decentralize as much as possible. Every state in America, I feel big families of them. So I recognize these states as it is right now. So New York is a state important. and run their own affairs, pay their dues direct to Chinese people. Same thing goes for New Jersey, Washington, this area for very last minute. And I would very strongly suggest that our people who are in the East Coast should go back to the local families they have and be a part of it. Yeah? Now, now listen, listen very carefully to me, please. There is no East Coast. It's very, very important. All of you in the East Coast, if you are in Maryland, you report to the Maryland family. If you are in Virginia, you report to the Virginia family. And this is the same. Now, I do concede that it's something we don't do very well, which is to identify good ideas and raw talent and be able to nurture them and take that along. I am going to, we are going to build something into the national structure of USA to recognize people who are willing and able to do or to execute projects that will add value to what we are doing. Yes. 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 You understand? Yes. yes. So that ideas can be carried along yes. and no one will be left behind. Yes. And I want all the coordinators listening across America and all over the world. To try and be like me, I'm a, a very inclusive person. Okay. Anytime I come to do something, I start from a position that I don't know everything. Mm -hmm. no. I'm always learning. Yes. If they tell you I can learn something from a cartoon, Bugs Life, you won't believe it. That's why you're but I was watching it with my little yes. boy, yeah. and I learned something from there. I'm sure some people will say, how can I learn something from an ordinary cartoon? <laughs> but I learned something from it. We must be receptive to <sighs> ideas and Chata. not feel threatened all the time. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> can bring a good idea. <laughs> and we feel to ourselves, <laughs> we execute yeah, this very idea one now, one. and it becomes very popular and uh, widely acceptable. 
they may take proposition from me. <laughs> That's what we think sometimes. And it shouldn't be that way. That is what we are going to do. We, we have Dr. Koro, who is Dr. Koro, I mean, you know, Koro in America. Oh, yeah. He is our national coordinator. And you also know that sometimes I allow people to remain in their position because in the new Biafra, we would run a multi-party democracy. You may lose election this year, and the other party will have to be in power for about four to five years. I don't expect you to pack your things and run away from Jaffa land because another person is in charge. I expect you to do all you can to support an administration and even bring your ideas to allow them to grow. So I expect everybody here to support what Dr. Cole is trying to do in IPO. We give him advice and he may not take it today. No, no, no. no. And that's not the reason. As long as you are able to function and flourish in IPO, your ideas take on board. When you can tell somebody four times, at least praise them once. So that when you talk to them, they can listen to you. That's what I'm saying. I repeat, please, I repeat very strongly. Are you listening? There is nothing like East Coast. I've seen this flyer. This thing, if you want to run any project involving all the states, is the person is there, you speak to the various coordinators and you say to them, can we all get together and do something? Yes. That's how it's supposed to be. And nobody will exclude anybody. They do something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Corris, who is excluding you? Dr. Corris, 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 Dr. I, my name is Jesse Woke. I'm from Afara, you know, and um, in Imo State. He, um, I'm with the Midland PG, Midland uh, Medical. That's, that's around there, Maryland. Maryland. Yes, yes. Who is the coordinator for Maryland? Chimamba. Why, who is the coordinator? Right here. Can I tell you what you have to do to me? No, we're not doing that. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I want us to understand. I want us to understand. That's the problem, man. You want to do this? Yeah. If you are from Maryland, this is your problem. Here we go. Okay, okay, people. Can you guys allow? Can we? Can we hear him out, please? Let's hear him out, please. Hold on. Are you listening to me? Yes. Now I want you to listen again very carefully. This is the Maryland government. And you have no business as an IPOB family member in Maryland with what Okoro is doing nationally. Exactly. Peter, hold on. Exactly. Before you get through to Dr. Okoro, you must go through. Absolutely. I want you to understand yes. for the sake of discipline. Yes. There are many fake IPOBs all over the place. Absolutely. People open their shop and see how IPOB, but they are not. So we need to be able to identify those that follow our command and control structures. Yes, that's oh, right. That if you are not disciplined, you yes. cannot be in IPOB. Yes. 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 And you. Whether, listen, <coughs> whether you like it or not, this is your coordinator in Maryland. Yes. yes. And listen, please. The board stops with him. Yes. yes. You understand? Yes, sir. Now, 
No, look at him. Look at him. Chidera. Yes. Yeah. 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 The one with the black hat. Yeah. The one with the black hat. Yeah. yeah. The one that they're talking now. That is the Nando Kali. Maybe you take picture of him later. You are in Maryland. This is your coordinator. Yes. I'm coming. Our national mobilization officer can travel to a county in, in, in Texas and open an IPOB family. Listen carefully to me. Listen very carefully. The new coordinator there cannot report to him. They report to the state coordinator. He has to hand over to the state coordinator. That is what I said. That is the way we function in IPOB. Command and control there must be a process. Uh -huh. There is nothing like East Coast. No. It's too broad. No. It's too broad. No. Because we have not finished having even ordinary Baltimore. Thank you. You have not mobilized Baltimore. Mm hmm Go down with Abu Dhabi. And I got for East Coast. That's right. It's too broad. It's too broad. That's right. It's too big. It's too broad. That was why I said everybody should go back to their state. Build their state. If we are well organized in Maryland. Only coordinators will be more than people will have. Uh -huh. Isn't it? Yes. Everywhere you will have coordinators. Yes. Coordinating streets, if pressing to whatever, I don't know what they call it here. Do you understand me? Counties. Finish the work here before you start going to National Annapolis. Yeah. The mobilization officer is part and parcel of the USA family. The executive of the USA. They don't let this out. Listen to oh, me. But it's true. You guys don't know. If you, listen to me. One second. If you come into the meeting that I'm presiding, mm -hmm. and I say stop talking and you continue talking, I will explain you. Mm -hmm. I won't walk to Draco. Then you go outside and you say, oh, I don't listen. And you expel. Then when you were asked to stop, you continue. We, the only way we can defeat our enemies that are new us. This is discipline. Oh, yes. Yes. Mm. discipline. Oh, that's right. I gave you an example before. Mm -hmm. You know, I learned so many things from movies. This Go and watch. That was a cartoon. I can't <laughs> Go and watch how the army of Zenzis, the ruler of Persia, was destroyed by only 300 Spartan men. Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Discipline. Only 300 men. Mm -hmm. Held an army of billions of men. Yes. Mm. That should teach you a lesson. Mm. Once this family is disciplined enough, yes. yes. Zoo will crumble in a matter of days. Yes. yes. Exactly. And that's what I expect from each and every one of you. You may not be a coordinator today. Tomorrow you can be something far more great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Don't see it as a personal attack. Try to do that in the Try and change for the better years. Please try. All right. Uh, I thank you for coming. And uh, you've actually addressed one of the major concerns I have, which is coordination. And uh, basically, it is as simple as that. We have to have leadership and we have to follow leadership. I wanted to know who is coordinating Baltimore as a whole. The reason I asked for this is when we went to uh, New York, we went with a whole truck. I mean, a whole uh, bus. Bus. It was full. Yes. When we went to D.C., we went with about 16 vans yes. from 
um, St. Anthony. Saint Anthony. Mm -hmm. And it was full. There were too many people that we had to beg others to come. Mm -hmm. And we stormed DC. Mm -hmm. And it was all over. It went viral. Yes. My husband couldn't believe that I'm that crazy to be out there. But I did. Because I saw the killings that's happening. Mm -hmm. And it's still happening. Python, Python mm -hmm. And my thing is this. What can we do to change certain perspectives? I'm all about strategy. If you all remember during Obama's campaign, I was with Obama's campaign. Mm -hmm. I sat with governors. I sat with the legislatures, uh, Saben, uh, um, Elijah Cummings. <coughs> it's all because of little, little things that you do that they, they appreciate and they pull you up. So my thing was this. What are the strategies to coordinate little, little units? How Obama got to where he went is because, the one, the grassroots. The grassroots. The grassroots. Mm -hmm. The grassroots means in every community, in every little nucleus community, bring people together, let them understand what the goal is, the vision, the mission, and then buy into it. You've got to sell it, and people have to buy. And, and please forgive me, I'm not about violence. I do not like violence. But I want us to not be like, oh, I want to exclude this person, I want to exclude... Sit down with them and educate them. Let them understand exactly. what we are fighting for in case they don't. Mm -hmm. Some people don't believe the news that we hear or we pass on. Sit them down. Like you said, some people didn't believe that you were going to be here. Yes. True. Because, you know, the news is always flying and people don't believe everything. Mm -hmm. So one, I'm all about strategy. And we don't have to verbalize everything we're doing. Mm -hmm. Some things you just go down to the grassroots, employ people, teach them, let them know what they're doing. We have engineers, we have doctors, we have aircraft uh, 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 people, pilots. We have people of all degree of knowledge and wisdom in the Igbo land that are here in diaspora, that we need to engage so that we can use their skills and their knowledge to start planning. We are not going to wait to the last minute and then we'll be taking on our wins. We need to really truly start planning nucleus nucleus communities what do you know what can you do can you fly an aircraft can you shoot gun mm -hmm. i'm lady you can register anywhere for gun rage training you, it's I'll, free I'll do you go they teach you you don't even need ipop to teach you anybody here can learn how to shoot. Important. you can important. teach her okay so that is all i'm talking about strategy and please let's respect each other's opinion it's not about what you think what you think might be right within you but it might not be right across the board so let's just take it digest it and stop fighting i hate when they say evil is always can we stop that please that's all I want to say. That's good, that's good. That's good. So we... I must warn our coordinators. I must warn every coordinator in IPOP, especially in the USA, because USA is critical. Very, very. Yes. Very, very. Very, very. Not when somebody speaks grammar more than you, you can, if you have a better idea, you feel better. I won't exclude them. I don't want it, please. People like that with good ideas should be from even more closer. And you ask them, how do we implement this very brilliant idea you have? Why don't you? That's exactly what I'm saying. When I say go back to your various um, um, abode or your, 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 your neighborhood and start IPOP, that's what I had in mind. Grassroots, from your street. Mm -hmm. your that's what I meant by that. Exactly. And not just only the Afghan zone, including uh, Americans. Americans, Americans too. They're because now we are going to the June of next year, we want everybody to come. Please, your ideas are most welcome. Thank you very much. My name is already there. I mean the Good evening. You can Manzi Nam the Kano. No chemist for Manzi Nam the Kano, especially you. I am go Nini Indian from Adha. Nini! Yes, and I live right behind you in Afaruko. In Omaria. Opera Avenue. A backyard is your backyard. Yes. Um we have Chorinku Umaka Ime awareness. My Maryland. A lot of people are not aware of the Afra issue, IPOB, or they just don't want to be bothered. 
So, I belong to a group. I went to New York to protest. We went to Washington, D.C. Yeah. yeah, we, you know, hired a bus. A lot of people. Okay. But since then, where are they? Because there's no awareness about what is going on. Coordination. Uh, coordination. So, people would like to have a uh, position of uh, responsibility directly from you or whoever is supposed to give it to them. I talked to Obefi, Chief Obefi, right? We talked about, you know, people that wanted to, uh, you will want to meet uh, Mazen Nambekano. I gave you the names. Please, I will still like, they want to meet with you, to have a discussion with you. Dr. Wanchuku, Dr. Duru, mm -hmm. and uh, Njine. That's why they are not here. Yeah. But they are interested in discussing with you on how to move forward, especially in Maryland, in Baltimore, because we have the population. I have 50 people that belong in my group, women, that they are telling me they are going to support me, just tell them what they need to do. Biko, give a more responsibility and position of authority to more people so that we will be able to let people know what is going on even in terms of funding i gave idea to our women's leader bridget on how we are going to raise funds and is that bridget <laughs> so i gave her idea on how we are going to raise funds and if we, if she follows my idea we will raise a lot of money without in a short period of time a lot of money i gave her that idea so Biko, if you can find time to meet those men and go from there that's my plea with you and may god bless you and keep and, you and keep you you know cheme for chuku gozu no na family uno Biko. We are not done. Somebody else. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we work as a we work as a team. I P O P. My name is Teresa Obara. I'm from Oweri, and um, I'm a retired man. Um, it is very scary because I'm very passionate about IPOP. Believe it or not, I wake up 3 30, 4 a.m. to watch every day. And uh, a day doesn't come by that I don't watch. Okay. So, it is scary what we are seeing, what we are seeing in the news. Having gone through the war, I can tell you if you ask my opinion. I don't want war, but it looks like we are eating to a war. Um, 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 I want to thank you very much. You and Uche before, I also follow you, you know, uh, Radio Biafra, London. Thank you very much for all that you are doing. Only a person who is not compassionate or who doesn't feel it or who doesn't who didn't experience the war will not know the magnitude of what you are doing for us to free us. In that note, I want to thank you. My questions have already been answered, some of them. I only have two questions. And those two questions are the um, dollar fund you're talking about. We were saying we can increase it. Can it be paid at one time for some one year? Yes. Yes. Okay. Second question is for those of us who feel it, it's not for everybody. You're doing a lot for us. I want to know if a fund can be set aside in your name so that whenever we feel that 
you know, we have to do something. You're gonna talk about that. That's you know, don't you give me a pat in the back. Oh, that is just for you. No, we don't. Can we do that? No, we don't. <laughs> That's my way. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the chairman here. <laughs> my director, my prayer is that you will never grow weary. We are giving you a lot of trouble. We are giving you a lot of trouble. I, I don't envy your position, sir. I don't. My China cannot a general law. Will shall wash you until it's accomplished. If, 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 any, any word or shape that we have done or we are doing what is kind of pissing you off, that sometimes you feel like, oh, are these people, uh, can they get it? Please forgive us. Um, I said this to say that um, my leader, Madi Shimamba, Owefi and Dr. Okoro, Please. No, no, continue. continue. They deleted Ngozi. No, we don't take us back. No, 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 please. If you want to solve a problem, you are a doctor. You have to go for the symptoms. Okay, well, relax. Well, when we came back from Atlanta, you gave me my job. And, and the job is still there till tomorrow. Thank you, sir. I consulted with National with ideas of how I want to make an impact for four months at least. He killed it. One. But anyway, let me leave that alone. He deleted Sister Ngozi when we were having a meeting before the coming of Oji Zokali in Atlanta. He deleted his, 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 his out of the, the conference line. One. Deleted him. Captain Obunna. Deleted him out of the conference. And many more. I didn't want to cause problem on the line. Sir, I turn off my phone. I couldn't take it again. Ever, audience please, ever since, sir, ever since we left Atlanta up till now, I am losing my hair every minute. To the extent I told Dr. Koro, Wefi, and Chimamba, I have no business with you guys again. You cannot take away Biafra's out of Ibom. The willing Biafras who have been making their payment diligent because they did not come to kiss here behind. Let me ask you one question, sir. Is it okay for Dr. Koro, who is in Texas, a different time zone, to bring somebody and come to impose on PG? Take it or leave it. One. Is it okay for there is a working Family in Northwest DC. I spoke with your, with your uh, uh, chief of uh, Wefi. I said to him two things we are asking for. Recognize the already. Hey. Recognize the already working families who are making their payments and making serious impact to the city. Recognize them and their leader. That's all. You can have your state, regional, or national. We report to you. They recognize them. They said no. They have already marked four regional uh, coordinators in DC only that they can dismantle and join them. I said you lose me. I'm not going to be part of that because I have been in this group and I studied it properly. Now everything that you stood for, sir. Everyone know that Dr. Okoro, I wish he's here, told me I have no right to call it. Oh, please. Sir, do you know that Dr. Okoro told me that I have no right to call a meeting? And I said, put that hand. No, if, if, I'm let him talk. Let him talk. Let him talk. Sir, he told me that I have no right to call a meeting. I had enough of it. I said, you know what? I have no business with you. The last one, let me just push short. I don't want to go too far. Was when they organized a, 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 a night DJ for Mama, I have all the records. People who were on the forum were deleted. Including me. They are here. Yes. They are here. Yes, sir. I was deleted. And, and I can give you their names. Sir, you go and check. Call Germany. 
if they be paying. They do without for years. They don't myself, they don't recognize me. She went back, you are here. Did you write in circulation that nobody should listen to any IPOB family in Maryland? There are scammers. The only person who can evangelize against our leader. You say that the only person that can evangelize in, in Maryland is you, DC, Sir, I sent it to you on WhatsApp. His comment. Everybody is here. If I show you what I have there from them, that's why I say I'm done. I will not be a part of the business. Yeah. 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 You see all this WhatsApp forum. I don't like it. Now listen to me very carefully. You cannot be in Maryland and be in a WhatsApp phone that contains somebody in New York. Why not? No, there's no need. You have not finished harvesting what is in that. As the author has been saying here, how do we spread this message? How do we get people out? And in our mouth, I cannot get to New York. What for? Finish the work you have in, in, in Maryland first. Because before you start going to New York. Now, listen to me very carefully. If there is a family meeting around here, in this very area, you restrict yourself to that forum only. Not even Maryland forum. And Maryland will not have any forum. The only people allowed to be on Maryland forum is the coordinator and the coordinators of the other zones. county zones. zones. Understand? Not ordinary members no the coordinator will not have access to ordinary members his job is to do with the coordinators then once in a while he can say oh add me i want to attend your meeting add me to one of your meetings i want to observe what you're doing that's how i feel before yeah. therefore if you are in this county or in this zone let me use the word zone you have no business in exactly. what is happening in any other area of the museum unless you are a senior officer or you have a special assignment to undertake. That is how gossip starts. That is how they start to build cover. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to. I don't want to. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Mas, you become, because you brought, you brought them up. What you said is very good. How do you hear the overall way that I have to go? Listen, listen. Let me finish, please. I talk about where somebody I say, oh, I was suspended. I don't know what I've done. I don't want your name in any other WhatsApp group apart from your zone. Unless you are an officer, in which case you can now be eligible to join the, the, the Maryland. And in, um, in Dr. Koro's group, only state coordinators are allowed to be there. And the national mobilization officer, no other person. They took me out. Like you said, my brothers and sisters, I want to ask you, she needs to work.